Hello YouTube, this is Fereza and today I'm going to show you how to make um, a button press, a key pressing script without any hopper bins or tools which is much more efficient. It's a recent Roblox update and I've been waiting for this update rather than teaching you the complicated and annoying way to do things. Um, so yeah, this is really efficient. Um, your player won't have to equip a tool with the one button or click on it or um, have their arm up to use it. Um, so yeah, really great and um, will allow your players to immerse into your game even more. Um, first of all though, um, in the Roblox blog they posted an interesting um, uh, blog update where uh, it describes how to get your games to stick the Roblox way and uh, shows you the top 10 games where players replay it and uh, you'll notice the <laughs> narrative should be not in Storm 2, my game, is uh, 6. I'm really proud of that, considering it's never been in the front page or the second page or anything like that, this is really um, great. <laughs> um, I am pretty impressed. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> it's never been any of the Vox blog posts, um, so yeah. <laughs> you notice that most of these well, actually all of these are front page games and such, or Halloween if, um, events games, but if you look at the day one, it's second in the list. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see hard work pay off, and um, you too can have this feeling. <laughs> uh, you should have a look at this post, it gives some interesting tips on how to get your game um, replayed. A lot of talks about data persistence and such, which um, that game in particular doesn't use and uh, uh, game passes but uh, personally I think it's more to do with uh, fresh gameplay um, skillfulness if that applies to the game in question um, aesthetically pleasing GUIs interactive um, maps like pushable items and um, in my game I have uh, electrifiable water and um, burnable trees and logs and s stuff like that. Um, it always gives the game a good feel to it. Um, but yeah, aside from that, let's get into the main tutorial. Okay, so you'll want to have a script in the starter pack, um, a local script. So um, view explorer, view properties and insert object, local script. And um, multiplayer first player equals script dot parent. Script dot parent dot parent. And uh, mouse equals player get mouse and uh, function on key down key. Uh, this refers to when the player presses a key. Um, it will tag the key as key, um, but they might have caps lock on, so we'll do it key equals key lower, which is an invalid function to take caps lock off. And um, then if key is equal to R, then end. This can be anything you want, but I'm just going to do it as R, so um, we'll make it a reset. And um, R is uh, a good letter for that. Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, and then this here, in case the script becomes big. And then the connection line. Key. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Um, mouse. Dot key down connect on key down there we go and um, player dot character dot humanoid dot health equals zero what this does is um player and character which gives the name of your character which is in workspace humanoid health and it changes that and I mean um, 
that number to zero. I'm sure you already know that, but just to clarify that. And then here I'm going to do if key byte is equal to 32, then end. Um, everything in your keyboard um, has a key byte um, as well as the alphabet loops. Um, keys having a letter. Um, things like spacebar and enter obviously don't have a letter, so key byte is how you access them. Then player dot character dot torso no <coughs> player dot character move to you don't need to write this way I'm just um, doing this to give it a useful purpose There we go. So what the script will do is when the player presses R, they will die, and when they press spacebar, they will jump a little higher. This is actually my fourth time recording this tutorial, um, because of um, crashing and stuff like that. So. And for the second time I, out of four, I've made a mistake <laughs> because I'm brushing it. Um, ten. And I forgot the, b the brackets here. Um, that's the problem. Uh, sometimes I'm too busy explaining it to notice um, that I've stopped typing it. And then when I continue typing, I forget where I am and skip ahead. Um, so yeah. Uh, key equals key byte, um, key byte, blah de blah de blah, and uh, we'll disable and enable it there just because I'm like that, and uh, R kills us, which works, we know that works, and um, spacebar, I hate how these tools appear whenever you spawn, it's a pet hate of mine, you jump, You can spam this, but um, physics kind of goes against you, so no matter how fast you spam, you won't jump that high. It's kind of like a double jump in a way. No matter how fast I press, I can't get any higher than a certain amount. Because once you lose your momentum, um, gravity goes against you. Well anyway that's fairly simple so uh, yeah all you'll need to remember is uh, this and it's um, a lot easier than it used to be with the hopper bin tool thing um, where you'd have to connect it when your key was down then you'd have to have enabled and unenabled blah 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 otherwise it would break each time you used it but um, this is extremely efficient um, yeah, I'm loving it. Uh, so, please uh, comment if you have any problems and such. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.